Hi there. Related website sets is a way for an organization to declare relationships among sites so that browsers allow limited third-party cookie access for specific purposes. Chrome will use these declared relationships to decide when to allow or deny a site access to their cookies when in third-party context. Related website sets is designed to minimize disruptions to specific user-facing features once Chrome starts limiting access to third-party cookies by default. In this video, I'll explain why we need it, how it works, and when you should use it. So let's see why we need related website sets. Many organizations have related sites with different domain names, such as brandx.com and flybrandx.com or domains for different countries, such as example.com, example.rs, example.co.uk, and so on. Imagine a company that helps you book a vacation. The company has two related sites, flybrandax.com and drivebrandax.com, to separate flights and car hire. Over the course of booking one journey, you can go between these sites to select their different options and you'd expect your shopping cart to remember your choices across these sites. Related sites like these often rely on cookies to keep users signed in or show personalized content. As Chrome moves towards blocking third-party cookies to improve privacy on the web, related website sets can enable the use cases when an organization needs a form of shared identity across different top-level sites. So what makes a related website set? At a high level, a related website set is a collection of domains for which there is a single set primary and potentially multiple set members. In this example, primary lists the primary domain and associated sites list the related subset of domains. Types of subsets are categorized by specific use cases related to website functionality. Country code top-level domain, or CCTLD subsets, are for variations for particular countries or geographical areas. Service domain subsets are for utility or sandbox domains. Associated domain subsets are more flexible and cover domains whose affiliation with the set primary is clearly presented to users. Set members could include a range of different domain types, which must meet the requirements of subsets based on a use case. If you have related sites like these and want to use related website sets, you need to submit the domains to a set. The canonical related website sets list is a JSON file hosted on a public GitHub repository, which serves as the source of truth for all sets. Chrome consumes this file to apply to its behavior. Now, let's look at how you can integrate related website sets with your website. Storage Access API provides a way for embedded cross-site content to check whether it currently has access to browser-based storage, such as cookies, and to request storage access if it doesn't. The request storage access can only be called from within an iframe. Using Storage Access API within a related website set provides a smoother user experience. The user does not need to have visited the embedded site at the top level, but the user does still need to interact with the iframe before request storage access can be called by, for example, clicking a button or a link. With just Storage Access API, requesting storage access will present users with a prompt to either allow or deny access. If related website set is enabled, Chrome will automatically grant permission for sites within the set. Because request storage access can only be called from within an iframe, it poses challenges for top-level sites that use cross-site images or script tags requiring cookies. To address this, Chrome has implemented a way for top-level sites to request storage access on behalf of specific origins with request storage access for. The request storage access for API is meant to be called by a top-level document and requires that the document must also have just received user interaction. Now is the time to audit your site to see how it works when third-party cookies are blocked. 
If you find that you need to use Storage Access API for unpartitioned cookie access across a small group of meaningfully linked sites, related website sets can offer a smoother user experience without prompts for sites within a set and additional functionality for the top level site, not just the iframe, to grant storage access. It provides you with predictability, control, and agency in preserving the user experience of your websites. To find out more, check out our documentation and demos. Thanks for watching.